Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. Today is day three, and today we are doing episode five. Guys, if you this is the first time you're watching any of my videos, I promised in the month of May I'll be uploading 60 videos. So we are in episode five, and I'm looking forward to do episode six, episode 10, up to episode 60. I'm ready to give free content on my YouTube channel. For those who cannot afford my mentorship program in this month of may my students um we are we are having the class of revelation and as i reveal so many things in my mentorship class that goes for 400 dollars even international 40,000 even in kenya i just want to come here and share for free so that everyone should understand that i am ready to teach anyone these secrets so guys Let's begin. In today's, we'll be looking at a very, very uh, a trick I use or a secret, whichever way you want to call it. And I'll be giving you an example with GBP JPY. And this is current market. So anytime you're watching my videos, I will be saying if it's current market or it's past market. So we are not doing like a back testing. So this is a current market, guys. This is current market. If I open, uh, if I open this chart on four hour. What do I see? Uh, I see a market structure that is an uptrend. The market is going up, going down, going up, going down. Like it is creating high highs and high lows. Buyers are so strong in this market. So if you're asked, if anybody asks you, what might happen for you if you just check for hour, you might now look for buyers. Like you'll be looking for, buy around this place because you want the market to continue and that's how those that's how people that look at market structure that's how they trade but for me i really um prevent myself to analyze four hour kindly guys don't come in on four hour and start analyzing there are so many things that you're missing there are so many points there are so many secrets that are hidden from your eyes and in four hour you cannot see that i tell people Kindly start from monthly, go to weekly, go to daily, and now come back to fall. So because it's a new month and every, I want to lay down, I want to lay a very good foundation so that when I tell you buy or sell, why already you have a video to refer and say, by the way, it was like this when she was saying. So either if I'm wrong, I am ready to be corrected. So from monthly perspective, four hour, you cannot do much. So in the monthly time frame, guys, what do we have? What do we have in the monthly time frame? So according to the strategies that I tell people, you only need to know three things. Guys, there's nothing much that you need to know. You just need to know three things, price action, market structure, and forex pattern. When it comes to price action, you are able to identify the data. We, you are able to tell me the previous green candle. What is this candle? Type down below if you're watching this video <laughs> and tell me which candle do you think it is? What is that first thing that is clicking your mind? That's how by the way I train. Like in my class, I don't tell them, oh, this is this, this. I like my student to answer. Like I am that mentor who always ask question. Like if you come, I train, I'll just be asking you a question. And by the end of the day, we are here to learn. So if at all we check all of us, the kind of the candle that was there, uh, that formed during April. If you have said bullish momentum candle, you are correct. Guys, this is a bullish momentum candle. You can see in the month of March, we had an indecision. This market didn't know if it was to sell, if it was to buy, but this indecision candle looks like a dragonfly. Those who knows candlesticks, they can know what I mean by dragonfly. And mostly dragonfly, the tail on the downside, it's longer, making this market even suggest that it will go high because the sellers have been rejected. So as much as it is an indecision candle, it is a dragonfly. So when it is not easy to trade a price action of dragonfly, but the market here, it is a momentum candle. And that alone is telling you that buyers are willing to continue going up so for price action let me write for you we are here to learn these videos like i have got so many comments on my whatsapp on my on my videos comments if you're being helped just write on that comment session and i will it will motivate me to 
upload more content. So if, I'm, if at all, even I'm doing for one person, no problem. I can just do for that one person. So number one, we start with the price action. So that's the first thing. And the price action here, it is bullish candle. So bullish is supporting what? It is supporting a buy. Now, number two, we are doing market structure. So we will look at this market and say, what is the market structure of this market? Like, what is the, the market structure? Where is the price going? What can we be told? Like, is it a sell? Is it a buy? So this is how you check the market structure. So you just squeeze your chart so that you can see the overall thing. So we can see clearly that this market was once down there and it has been going up. So from monthly perspective, the market has a structure. The market has a structure. So it is going down, going up, going down. So the market structure is still an up trend. So market structure is an up trend. And what does it support? It supports a buy. Are we together? The market structure is a buy. It's an uptrend. So we can say market structure, it is uptrend. So you can find market structure that is downtrend. You can find market structure that is ranging. But in this case, market structure, it is down. Uh, it's an uptrend. Number three, Forex pattern. And the reason why I've done this, many people have really requested for me to do GBPJ4. So comment down below. Let me know which pairs you want me to do uh, analysis before we start getting into the secrets. So we have to do analysis of most of the pairs that people trade because it's at the beginning of the month. So this week I'll be analyzing this pair, this pair is doing this. And I know many people are being helped. Then now maybe from the next episode, I will start teaching some secrets and tricks. So Forex pattern, we have the Forex pattern like that. So this Forex pattern, let's try and see. And I know the problem is you always see what everyone is seeing and that's the bigger problem. Because if you have, just look, look, look very well. In this uptrend market, which structure are you seeing? Which Forex pattern are you seeing? Just type down below and I'll give you the answer. So let me wait, let me pause for you to say, say it in your heart, which Forex pattern are you seeing? Because you're in a class. Even if you don't answer, you're in a class. So which Forex pattern are you seeing? If you have answered, you're seeing double top. Trust me. If you have answered, I'm seeing double top. This is what everyone sees. They will see that double top. And they'll see that we have a neckline. You see? And then they'll see we, get, we got a half. We have the half. So everyone is seeing this possible double top and they are much willing to start getting involved. But for the Forex pattern that now you're seeing it's a possible, it has not happened, it is possible a double top that is supporting a sell. Just check why is this market, the Forex pattern is going against the two. So don't be so confident that, oh, I have a double top, now I can look for sell. Now, let me squeeze the chart again and give other people chances to tell me which other pattern you see. Which other pattern are you seeing apart from the double top? Because everyone will see the double top. So let me give you the answer. If you saw the double bottom, if you saw this double bottom, consider yourself, you, you, you are a master. <laughs> You're not a beginner. If you saw that double top, double bottom, you are a master. And this is not a possible double bottom. This is an actual double bottom. The market created a double bottom. So we have here a double bottom. So if you saw that, um, it's just that I am not near, but congratulations, <laughs> double bottom. So with the double bottom, we have the neckline. Guys, this is the neckline. So we have the neckline. Now, we saw that there was the break of the neckline. Can you see this break? The market broke the neckline there. So once the market breaks the neckline, it is evident enough. But you can see how long this market took at the neckline. It is evident enough. Once the neckline is broken, the market will go this distance. That's the distance of where the market is going. And you can see that we have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. So if we measure half of that distance, 
you can see that's where the market is at the hub. I hope you had seen all this. So if you're thinking to buy or to sell, because now you there's a new pattern that is forming. I'm not saying it can't go down, but this pattern for us to know that it is gonna go down, there are some things we need to keep checking. There are some things that we need to ask ourselves, really, really, is this a possible double top? Will it get activated? Or will it even, will this market sell like it is saying? So that is what we have. We have a possible double top, but we have a double bottom that broke neckline and it is on a journey to go to 187.87. From where the market is to 187, how many pips, guys? 1,827. The market may not go right now, may not reach that now, even this year. But trust me, in years to come, this will be nothing to this market. So what are some of the challenges of this double top? What I normally teach my students, and you should write this because it is very important. Anytime you are given... um. Anytime you're given a pattern, you should check where the market is, uh, the market structure. So if this is my double top, what is my market structure? An uptrend. Uptrend supports a buy. Possible double bottom, we want to sell. So there's a contradiction. So you need to understand that double top on an uptrend, right? that, double top on an uptrend, it is difficult to trade it. You need all, all everything in place. You need to have like this market is surely gonna sell. And the only thing that you can know is when the half is broken. So even if you try to sell it where it is, it will be very difficult. So from the monthly perspective, from the price action and the market structure is a buy. But for the Forex pattern, we have the major and the main double bottom that is a, this double bottom that is supporting a buy, but you have this possible double top that now makes us trying to think what can happen. So the only way that monthly can confirm that this possible double top will work if it is break the half and engulf the green line. So the only time that that double top can work is the market goes 700 feet down. That's when we have a confirmation that market has entered a, a confirmed sale long term. When we go to weekly, See, we still have that double bottom, double top, but it's a double top on an uptrend. Can you see? Making it very, very hard. Again, if at all we want to trade this double top on a on an uptrend, we have first to engulf because the rule is engulfing. We engulf that, and then the market breaks the half. That is only time we can know that this market will go to the neckline. We would waste a lot of time because I've already explained on the monthly. From daily perspective, GBP, JPY, trust me, this pattern has decided to be everywhere. GBP, JPY, we still have the double top on the daily time frame. Can you see? So we have the double top on the daily time frame. So that's where we have. And this double top on the daily time frame, there is nothing that is changing. Everything is intact. So the neckline will change. That is where the neckline will be. And then let's see our half. So our half is exactly at that zone. So double top on a daily time frame. How do you trade it? We trade this pattern using what? Using a WB strategy. Wait for the red candle. Check if it's bearish angle. If not, WBB. So many people are sending me these results on daily telling me that the market has given them a bearish angle. Mofri, can I sell now? And because this market is dropping, how many pips? So they are thinking it will be dropping 600 pips. So they're asking me, can, we, can I sell? And I tell them, analyze for me. And they stick to daily and they say, we have a possible double top. Let me write it here. So they said, I have a possible double top. And this possible double top, this possible double top, it is um it is it is um this possible double top has given me a bearish angle. Can now I enter sale? And what I did because I I have not been analyzing GBP JPY. What I did I took my time. 
you just take like one hour, two hours, understanding higher time frame so that I can make decisions. So when they asked me and I kept getting those requests on GPP-24, I said, let me do a very good analysis. And I can tell you guys that avoid GPP JPY at this moment. Why? You might see this bearish engulf, but trust me, when the pattern is on the monthly time frame, when the pattern is on the weekly time frame, when the pattern is on daily time frame, we shall wait for alignment. So don't think that this market is gonna sell because it's gonna sell. So even if you go to four hour to look for sell entry, this is what you're seeing. The market is dropping. So you can see, oh, the market is dropping, but tell, let, let me advise you. Whenever you see that sellers are coming like this, this market to reverse and to, uh, and, to, and to make a second leg, this market to just divert to make a second leg is like instant. It can even in, 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 invert instant. And you are risking how many pips? 268 because of getting in early. So the only thing now we want to do is to wait weekly, at least weekly, to give us an entry. So if weekly can get a bearish angle, a very good bearish angle this week, we are ready to go. So don't be in a rush. I'll be coming here to advise you on that. And whenever you have this structure, don't be in a rush because this market can buy. And if this is the market buys, everyone who is selling will be disappointed. So I don't want to go further. GBP JPY is a no-go zone. This month, don't attempt to trade GBP JPY because from the monthly perspective, we need this candle to engulf. If this candle now engulfs and breaks here, and that is like 700 pips, now I can tell you guys, we are now looking for sale. We are sure that we are protected by higher time frame. I don't want to make this lesson so big. This is episode five. Kindly watch it, uh, rewind, uh, and then understand what was I saying, and then apply. So GBP, JPY, just do those analysis I've said. Print those analysis from monthly, print it out. Weekly, print it out. Daily, print it out. And then tell yourself, unless this double top aligns, and alignment will come from the monthly. Unless I see alignment, I'll not indulge. Why? Because this double top is on a nerve train. It is as hard to trade it and it can reverse any time. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you have liked this video. Comment down below and make sure you subscribe. Thank you and I love you so much.